Today I was tending to my worm garden when I thought to myself, hmm, the world doesn't yet know my opinions of Pyro's weapons in a tier list format. So I figured today I'll give you exactly that because I know everyone was clamoring for it. So here it is, baby, the Pyro weapons tier list. I will not be including weapon reskins because, well, I mean, I can only talk about a stock reskin so many times. So it's it's only original weapons here. So uh, yeah, let's get into the ranking, shall we? The first tier we're gonna start in here is F. Here we've got the fire axe. This thing, it's just <laughs> sure it's stock. Most stock weapons are pretty reliable. Except for the fire axe. It's such a piece of shit. Do not use this thing because the second you get another weapon for pyro, please for the love of god just equip that. It doesn't matter what it is. As soon as you can stop using the stock fire axe, please take that opportunity. Just, just throw it away. Next up we've got the gas passer. No shock here, this thing fucking sucks. I don't even have any, any clip of like a fucking kill here, it's just, I, I threw it. There you go. That's all you need. This thing in the normal game kind of fucking sucks, but in MVM it's actually pretty good. So yeah, just all around fuck the gas passer, this thing blows ass. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next we have the hot hand. Again, there's no surprise, this thing is unviable as hell. It's, it's just a meme weapon, and there's no denying that. This thing is pure shit, just utter garbage poo-poo. Alright, next we have the reserve shooter. I'm only putting the reserve shooter here because it's basically unviable for pyro now. I say now, but it's been like this for like a fucking decade at this point. I'm not exactly sure how it used to work. I assume Pyro had this weapon because when you air blasted someone up into the sky, it, it counted as a mini crit hit with this thing. It, but it doesn't do that anymore, so it's completely useless for Pyro to have this thing. So for that, I give it an F because it fucking sucks with Pyro. Just don't bother using it. Next we have the Scorch Shot. Um, yeah. Look, it's a decent weapon. We all have to admit that. It is moderately fun to use. You'll probably get a kill or two with it, and you will definitely ruin someone's day with it. And that is exactly where I have the problem with the Scorch Shot. It just, it's no fun for anyone except for the person using it. But yeah, it's a Scorch Shot. Fuck that thing, and we're moving on to something even worse. And it's the Sharpened Volcano Fragment. Fuck this thing. It is actually horrible here like oh my god i can't even begin to tell you how many times i tried to get a kill with this thing i think i i don't know if i actually ended up getting one or if i just hit someone with it i, I honestly can't remember you'll see it i can't right now but i'm pretty sure i just hit someone with it and called it good and honestly that's all you need anyways so let's move up to d tier We've got the Phlogistonator, which might have a couple people scratching their heads, like, well, what the fuck is it doing in the second worst tier? Well, it's it's partially the same reason as the Scorch Shot, but to a lesser extent, and also it is just overall worse than a regular, just the stock flamethrower, just because it has no air blast. Every time I use the Phlogistonator, I feel so vulnerable, like I can't do anything. I can't put anyone out, I can't fucking, uh, direct any rockets, I can't do anything. And it's, it makes the Phlogistonator no fun to use because I know that in just about any situation I'm in, I'm gonna be pretty useless. But just like the Gas Passer, the Flog does actually kick some serious ass in MVM. Honestly, if you use any weapon but the Flog as Pyro in MVM, if you even use Pyro, <laughs> go with the Flog. Next in D, we've got the Third Degree. Forgot what it was called for a second. <laughs> um, but no, for real, I don't have a clip of me actually pulling off this fucking cosmic event of this thing's abilities. Basically, if you hit a, someone attached to a medic beam, it'll also hit the medic. Uh, 
it's so situational and, and people will call it like a fucking direct upgrade or like shit like that but it's well technically true it's still such a piece of shit that it's not even worth making any acknowledgement towards it you know what i mean Working our way up to C here, got the back burner. I don't think I have any direct clips of me killing someone with this. It has happened, but um, I'm not a huge fan of this weapon. I, I think the mechanic of, you know, crits on hitting someone's back could be cool. Except for the fact that we're playing Team Fortress 2 here, so half the time, or o over half the time really, the back shots just don't even register. So it's just you're just using a regular flamethrower that costs more to air blast. And to me, that utility for such a buggy trade-off is, is not worth it. But when it does work, it is very good. So that's why I put it at C. Uh, next, we got the home wrecker. I don't have much to say about this thing. I just kind of threw it here without any regard of what to say about it. It's just kind of, you know, if an engineer teleporter is getting sapped, break it. That's, that's kind of it. Next, we have the Man Melter. This thing actually goes really well with the Phlogistonator because it has the ability to extinguish people, which is pretty cool. And also, extinguishing people with the Man Melter will give you a crit. Anyways, this is technically a flare gun too. I didn't actually know that, but apparently it is. And uh, yeah, it's probably the worst of the flare guns, just in terms of most things, uh, except for the Scorch Shot, which I would actually argue, despite it being lower, the Scorch Shot is more viable. Now we're in weapons that are just actually all good. There's no bad weapon here. We're in B tier now, baby. Yeehaw. Uh, first we got the Axe Extinguisher, which I'm not very good at using, but <laughs> some really good pyros can make this thing look fucking easy and fucking cool. And I have nothing but respect for anyone who can properly use the Axe Extinguisher, because I... I can't do it. Next we have the Thermal Thruster, probably another curveball for some people, because I don't see a lot of love for the Thermal Thruster anywhere, and that's a shame because I think I think we should show it a little bit more love. It's actually pretty decent for mobility, it's a nice little tool for getting from place to place. I will admit learning it at first is kind of fucking weird, but I think you could probably learn it and get used to it if you aren't a bitch. So, I assume that anyone watching this video would be able to learn how to use this. Right? Anyways, we're moving to A tier. Uh, we've got the degreaser. Um, I like the degreaser, mostly for how it looks, but... <sighs> I don't know. It, the, the main thing it has is the switch speed, which isn't even that great considering the base switch speed is pretty quick anyways, so... There's really no reason to use this over just the stock flamethrower, but if you want to, and you wanna, you know, get some extra style points, you know, feel free to, because it's still a great weapon. The detonator, I place an A, mostly because it is a fantastic mobility tool, and a great crowd control tool. It works really well for exactly what you would use it for. It's pretty good for uh, fucking debt jumping, and it's pretty good for setting large groups of people on fire, and that's always pretty cool. As pyros, that's kind of what we love to do. Speaking of great weapons that I love, <clears throat> video coming soon, we've got the Neon Annihilator up here in A, and this is purely personal bias, I just really like this weapon, I like how it looks. Even before I started playing this game all that seriously, I would look at the Neon Annihilator and be like, wow, that thing's pretty fucking cool, because it is. I mean, it's just a cool looking weapon, but also, it's just, it, what it does is kind of overpowered. It crits wet players, which is fucking insane. It bas it insta-kills like everyone but like a heavy, a soldier, and a demo. And also a pyro, but whatever. We don't really have to get into the stats and all that boring shit. That's not what you're here for. This this game is like 16, 17 years old. You all know the stats. Uh, next we got the power jack. My personal favorite pyro melee. I actually don't know why I didn't put it in S, but whatever. It, a is fine. It's just a fantastic weapon. Every time I don't have it equipped, I feel it and I want to use it. I just want to equip it because basically every other melee uh, is 
just, it's just, they're just not as useful. Gallons of opportunity juice constantly leak out of the power jack, and I love it for that. The, that speed boost is actually everything. I, I just love, I love the power jack. I love it. It's, it's my favorite. I fucking love it. It's great. Moving up to S, we've got the Dragon's Fury. A surprise to no one, because this thing is fucking awesome. I, I mean, it's it's so different from the other flamethrowers, but it still just feels so right. It is one just satisfying weapon to pull off. If you hit someone and you just never stop hitting them until they die, oh man, fantastic. Out of context, that sounds really bad, but I swear it's not. My only grievance is very similar to the Phlogistonator, is air blasts. Yes, the Dragon's Fury can air blast, uh, except I wouldn't do it personally. It takes so long between air blasts and firing, and it, it's just it's just kind of stupid. I don't think it should be like that, but it is. So we just gotta get used to it, cry about it for a minute, and move on. And move on we will to the flamethrower, stocked flamethrower. Oh man, this thing is fantastic, I love it, it is just everything you want in a primary. It is, if you're not using the Dragon's Fury, be using the stocked flamethrower because whew, that is where it is at, reliability at its best. Next we got the flare gun, a just fucking nasty combo tool here. I mean, you light someone on fire or... You fuck it, you even just shoot a flare and then shoot another one and then you kill them with that ooh beautiful crit. Oof. There are few things better, my friend, I tell you what. There's some satisfying shit in this game. And another one of those things is the panic attack. I love the panic attack. It is a just a fantastic weapon. It is great. This clip right here encapsulates exactly what I love about the panic attack. He jumps to escape and then I just humble his ass with this fucking <laughs> gun. And the last weapon here that we've got in S tier, a fucking classic and it deserves to be. And it's the shotgun. This thing is nasty. You know, it's everyone knows that. It's it's a disgusting weapon. Ooh, it's beautiful. It's just so satisfying to use just to pump some twink full of lead. God damn. It's just good in damn near every situation. It's great for taking out enemy pyros, which I forgot to mention about the Dragon's Fury, is also fantastic for taking out pyros. Yeah, well anyways, uh, that's what I thought about Pyro's weapons, uh, excluding three skins and shit. Uh, if you agree with me, leave a like. If you don't, be sure to comment and tell me how wrong I am. And if you watched the video, just fucking subscribe, dude, hell yeah. Anyways, that's it. See ya.